What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we are probably using one of the coolest Pokemon that doesn't evolve, Skarmory. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of my content. You guys know Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet is coming out very, very soon. And I'm planning on doing guides, playthroughs, and most importantly, rank double battles and rank single battles in that game. So if you guys want to stay up to date with that content, make sure you guys just subscribe to the channel. But like I said, Skarmory is such a cool Pokemon. It doesn't evolve and I always liked it as a kid. But now that I got a chance using rank battles, we're going to be rocking out with it. Let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off with the Skarmory. It is a Steel and Flying type and we gave it the Aguav Berry as its item. Its ability is going to be sturdy, so it cannot get killed in one shot, and that ability legit works as like a free focus ash. Eevee's first Pokemon is going to be fully invested into attack, and then split between HP and speed, so it's a little bit bulky, it can hit like a truck, and it can outspeed most Pokemon. Move set for this guy is going to be Sword Stance to set up that attack boost, Drill Pack for Stab, Steel Wing for Stab, and Protect for its final move. Second Pokemon on today's team is my Hip Hop Dancer's Hitmon Top over here. Look at this dude strutting in the right side. He's looking spiffy. I love how he does this little dance the whole time. It's got close combat. It's got wide guard to protect us from double heading moves, fake out for flinches, and helping hand to help ally Pokemon do more damage. Ability is going to be Intimidate. I'm not going to go over EVs except for for Skarmory because he's the only Pokemon that we never showcased before. And then the uh, item that this thing is holding is going to be that Citrus Berry. Third Pokemon on today's team is going to be my boy, Latios over here with the Soul Dew as its item. It's got Levitate as its ability, and the moveset is going to be Psychic, Tailwind for Speed Control, Dragon Pulse for Stab, and then Protect for its final move. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is the best guy. It is Gyarados over here. Cannot go wrong with Gyarados. He's just so strong and can be used on any single team. It's got Waterfall, it's got Ice Fang, it's got Dragon Dance and Protect. Ability is obviously going to be Intimidate, and then last but not least, the item it is holding is going to be that Lump Berry. Fifth Pokemon on today's team is Rotom Pizza Oven over here. We got the Rotom Heat, Electric and Fire type with the Mago Berry. Ability is going to be Levitate, and the moveset is Thunderbolt, Overheat, Nasty Ponta Setup, and Protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be another great physical attacker for the squad. It's going to be Tyranitar with Protect, Dragon Dance, Crunch, and Rock Slide. Sandstream for that weather control as its ability, and then the item it is holding is going to be that Life Orb to make it do as much damage as it possibly can. But guys, there's the Scarmory team. Let's hop into that Coliseum. Let's grab some wins with it. First match coming at you guys. We're going up against a really cool team. This guy's rocking out with Gastrodon, Tyranitar, Venusaur, Gardevoir, Flygon, and Arcanine. I really want to lead Skarmory here, but I feel like if we lead Skarmory, he's going to probably bring out Arcanine or something along those lines, which could be scary for us, which definitely could be bad for us. But do I lead him anyway? Do I just go straight into Skarmory and also lead it with a Pokemon like maybe Titar here? I feel like Titar could be pretty good. Like, Titar's not bad in this situation. I could also go into Latios. Latios isn't too shabby. But I feel like Gardevoir really counters up on a lot of our team. And then we gotta watch out for that Gashnon, because Gashnon could be a pain. So, do I even go? What do I do here? Hmm. I could go Latios and Skarmory. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. We could take speed. We could set up a Swords Dance if we want to. I just feel like we have a lot of options with that. So, I'm gonna go in with those two. I am going to be bringing in Titar in the back end. And then last but not least, I feel like Gyarados we can get a lot of value off of. Especially if we can get rid of that Gash on, I'll be happy with it. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to like to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But this guy's team's looking pretty good. Or this girl's team. Well, whoever it is. You know, Gash on and Gardevoir. So Gash on and Gardevoir flat here. We got Skarmory and Latio. So I could easily set up a Tailwind here. I could predict a swap from the Gardevoir here. Right? I could predict the swap from the Gardevoir. But I feel like I'd just go straight after it. And who has Levitate now? The Gardevoir has Levitate now. So obviously, I could go for a... Uh, Hmm. Did I predict the swap and go for a sword stance? That could be an option here. I'm going to set up a tailwind here. I just feel like tailwind supply. Let's see what he does. Oh, he does not swap. Good thing he went straight into a steel wing. Good thing he went straight into a steel wing here. We're going to get off some mean damage here. Is this thing sashed? Oh, it doesn't even bring it down to sash. But solid damage over there from him. Thunderbolt's going to fly into my Skarmory. And Skarmory's going to eat that up, which we like. And there's my berry. Beautiful. The lovely little Mago Barry gonna come out there. Love his Pokemon. Look at that HP we get. Let's see what Gash is going for. He's gonna go for an Ice Beam into Latios here, right? Correct? Makes sense? Yeah. Do not freeze me. That's all I ask for. Cool. So no freeze comes out here. Um, I feel like we can just Swords Dance for free here. Because Gardevoir probably gonna swap at this point, right? Gardevoir can definitely swap. And then I can just start Psychicking down into the Gashon slot. 
right? I could definitely see. Yep, there's the Gardevoir swap into the Arcanine probably for the Intimidate, and then I could Sword Dance and get off some big damage maybe next turn. As long as that, uh... As long as that, uh, Gashon isn't taking out my Skarmory, we'll be fine here. We could definitely be fine, because we have some speed here. This Sword Dance could be big. This Sword Dance could be big. So we go for the Psychic, we're gonna chip up some damage on the Gashon. Do half, I like that damage. That's some good damage. That's some good damage. So we're going to hope this thing isn't leftovers, because then I can take it out with another Psychic and we're kind of real strong. But I can definitely see him going for another Ice Beam. Just for Scald. Can we eat that? Probably not, right? Yeah, his Special Defense isn't too hot. It's not too hot. So the Scald ends up taking us out. Wow, we could have got off a Drill Peck, but I feel like from here we could just go into Titar. Right? Drop some rocks. We're not going to Gyarados. I mean, I really don't want to go into Gyarados at this point. Because at this point in the match, uh... He still has Storm Drain. So if I save my Gyarados for when Gashon isn't on the field anymore, we could be sitting really good. So, dang man, I should just went through. Drill Peck could have did some work. A Drill Peck definitely could have did some work. But yeah, Rock Slide is definitely our play. So I'm just going to go after this with Rock Slide. We still have Tailwind in effect. I feel like we have to get rid of Gashon. Because once I get rid of Gashon, once I get rid of this Gashon, we can really roll strong with the Gyarados. So Gashon's got to go. We're going to double down into it, even though it might protect. And I really want to read the Protect, but I know I need to get rid of Gashron. But man, we read the Gardevoir swap, but... But... He turned his Gashron to shoot a shot at me, so I wish I would've just drill pecked, got off some damage with that Skarmory. But it wouldn't have been much, because we uh, we were minus one from the Intimidate. Gashron does Protect. Like I said, I wanted to read that, but I just couldn't. I had to double down into it. Plus, T-Tar should be able to do a huge chunk of damage, and maybe even get a flinch on the Arcanine. Or even KO. It has Life Orb. It's stab, it's super effective. It's life orb boost it. Love me some rock slide. Look at that damage. Give me the flinch. Show me the flinch, baby. Give me the flinch. Give me the flinch. That's all I'm asking for. Give me the flinch. Of course, this thing's rocking the berry. What was that? Citrus? A guav? Usually, I rock like a guav or mago with that. It's gonna be citrus. The citrus berry's gonna pop out here and he's gonna will o wisp me. That was my one problem. That was my one problem. I think, uh, I think a rock slide still KOs. I think a rock slide can still KO, which could be pretty good. Rock Slide should still be able to KO that. So I'm gonna go for another Rock Slide, and I'm just gonna Psychic into this uh, Gashon. A Rock Slide should still be able to KO that. It did a lot of damage onto that. I kind of knew he was going for a will o -Wisp, and I was gonna bring out Gyarados for that fact, because he does have the Lumberry, but again, I needed to try to get rid of this uh, Gashon here, just so my Gyarados could be at full HP, can be thriving. And then if we can pick up a double KO here, I can Tailwind again next turn, because I think Tailwind ends and we would be fastest on the field. The psychic flies here. Can this just straight up KO? It does. Beautiful. Awesome. Dope. We get a crit. Awesome. Lovely. Lovely little crit. The little slug Pokemon goes down. He starts going to drop a rock slide. This should still be able to KO even with the burn. Okay, cool. See you later, Arcanine. So we get rid of the Arcanine. We get rid of the Gashine. We get rid of two pesky little Pokemon. And Gardevoir is sitting kind of low on the HP board. Gardevoir is sitting kind of low on the HP board. Buff it's flying. I think Tailwind ends, right? Is that correct? Is that a correct statement from Jeans? Yes, Tailwind does it. That's the only problem I have with this game. Like, Sword and Shield, you can go and look into your info box and all that. See how many turns left in Tailwind, Sandstorm, all that. But here, it's just like, nah, like, you have to keep it in your head. <laughs> so, luckily, I was counting. He ends up going into Venusaur, and Gardevoir's gonna come out here. I think we, if we just get rid of Gardevoir, we should be fine. I mean, we're sitting pretty in this battle. And obviously, I'm gonna set up another Tailwind. Obviously, right? And then do I just crunch, or do I slide rocks? I think we just crunch. I think crunch should be able to do enough damage. So I'm just gonna set up another tailwind. Someone might protect, but I think we're fine here. Tailwind's gonna get set up. We're taking speed control again. Lovely little speed control in this battle. And T Tar's just gonna crunch even through the burn. Did we pick up KO? No, T Tar's doing some work. You burned my T Tar, but he's still taking out your Pokemon left and right. So we get rid of the Gardevoir, take some life orb damage, and Venusaur's gonna go with Sleep Powder maybe? And he's gonna pop a Giga Drain. Giga Drain, which we soak. That's some big damage though. That's some big damage, but I'm I'm sorry, Venusaur. We outspeed you. I'm just gonna drop a psychic and I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> I'm killing you. I'm killing you, little plant. Little plant frog. What is he? A plant frog, right? He's a he's a frog. He's definitely a frog with a plant growing on his head. <laughs> We're just gonna drop a crunch here. We're gonna drop a psychic. I think our opponent just cancels battle because he knows his GGs. And no, he doesn't. Wait, what? Did I misclick there? Did I click on my T-Tar? What just happened? Why did it just say? 
I must have clicked on Titar. It just said my uh Psychic doesn't affect Titar. I must have clicked on Titar. What? What is going on here? I misclicked? Okay. Thank god that wasn't like a game decision misclick. That could have been rough. That could have been real rough if that was game time decision click. Misclick. But yeah, I guess when I'm looking back editing this video, I'll see a big up. Yep, I did. I did hit the button too many times. I did slide it over because you know you got the analog stick and sometimes your hand slides over and then down like that kind of just slides over down and yeah that's how that's how you pick on your pokemon but i'm gonna go for an ice fang and i think it'll show the last pokemon i hit here yeah it does it shows uh, i was on the gyarados slot so yeah let's pull that back up to the venusaur and that should be ggs battle should have been over 600 years ago second comes out here we're gonna say bye bye to venusaur and that is going to be game set and match battle number one goes to your boy let's hop into our second battle let's go back to back Second battle coming at you guys, going up against another cool team. Storm Drain Gaston's on the other team, which is, again, a problem for my Gyarados, so we're going to have to worry about that. And then he's got Hariyama for Fake Out Control, Scissor, who's an absolute beast, Togekiss, who we can counter up with Skarmory, and then he's got uh, Torkoal and, what is that Pokemon? Cresselia. Okay, Torkoal and Cresselia, which I don't really like. I might go into Titar here as a lead, just for that instance, because if he goes Cresselia, he can pop an easy Trick Room. Easy, easy Trick Room. So do I go Titar maybe with a Fake Out Pokemon? I really like T-Tar as a lead. So T-Tar and maybe him on top as a nice little lead I can get with. I could definitely get behind that. Yeah, let's go on with him on top. Let's go on with T-Tar. I do have Wide Guard on that Pokemon as well, so I am digging that. And then we will bring Skarmory. And then last but not least, I'm kind of leaning a bit more towards Rotom in this situation. Just because of that Scissor. Like, we all know Scissor can be a pain, so I am going to go in with that Pokemon. Let's do it. Wait, I'm digging that. I'm looking at it a lot. We got, we got a lot of attack. We got a lot of attack, a little bit of special attack with that Rotom. Let's see if we can grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But again, this guy's team's looking really, really strong. Really powerful. It looks like he has just covers a lot, but it looks like Trick Room's like his uh, main value. Let's see. He goes Cresselia and Togekiss. The Crest and Togi is going to fly here. I feel like we just uh, fake out the Crest slot, and then we just roll into a Rock slide, right? Right? Or does Follow Me come out first? Will Follow Me come out before the fake out? Not too sure. I am not too sure. That, I feel like that always gets me. But yeah, I'm just going to go straight for the Fake Out. I think Fake Out will go first. So I'm just going to Fake Out the Crest. And I just feel like it's a free Rock Slide. Or I can set up a D-Dance. Or I can set up a D-Dance. D-Dance wouldn't be bad. We're not mine and I still have a D-Dance. Yeah, I'm just going to straight up Fake Out here. I'm just going to Fake Out the Crest slot. I think that's my best bet. Let's see what he does. Cresselia is going to protect. That's fine. I mean, luckily I'm not going for a crunch. I'm going for a nice little, nice little rock side here. Let's see. Is he going for a gleam? Is he going to gleam here? Is that like a wide guard next turn? Good job. A nice little wide guard next turn. Maybe we get a flinch here too. Flinch would be beautiful. Oh, big damage. That's some big damage. And it's good to know that we actually outspeed him. Which is lovely. Nice little outspeed. He is going to go for the gleam. Are you KOing both my Pokemon? Oh, cool. Awesome too. But I can definitely wide guard. He gets a crit on my T-Tar. And my Citrus Berry is going to poke here. Um... Okay. I don't think it's a bad turn. I mean, another rock side could do us good. We go for the flinch. I could double down here. Or I could go for a helping hand. Because it is good to know that my T-Tar just straight up outspeeds this crest. Or not the crest, the Togekiss. So what do I want to do here? Go for the rock side, look for the flinch. Not a bad play. I feel like we just helping hand the rock side. I'm all about it. I'm going to helping hand the rock side shot. Helping handing this rock side shot, shot, especially getting rid of this tokens could be huge, especially if it stays in. So I'm hoping it stays in here. I'm hoping we can connect the rock side and we get rid of the tokens because tokens is just a huge start all around. So I'm going to helping hand. I feel like Trick Room is just coming out here, right? I feel like Trick Room has to come out here. Tokens going to protect. That's totally fine. So he's looking at Trick Room here. And rock side is going to fly. Maybe we get off a of flinch here. Just maybe we get off a of flinch. Rock side coming in hot. Built, getting off a decent amount of damage, not too bad. Give me the flinch. Give me the lovely flinch on the crest. No, Trick Room is out and about. So Trick Room is here. Uh, huh. I wonder what Crest is doing. Crest might be calm minded. Do I wide guard the shot? Or do I just protect and have Buffets take him out? What do I do here? The Gene Suey. I could hard swap to him on top, save the fake out for later, and just protect. I actually feel like the Y guard's gonna be really good for us. Let me see your speed, little buddy. 
Let me see your speed, him on top. Because if him on top is slower, that could be really good for us. Adamant, bump, 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 96. What's T-Tar speed? Mm, that's a slow Togekiss. I doubt it's in between this. Do I protect? Do I protect this old booger? I think I just protect you and I go into maybe like a. Uh, I can wide guard the shot. I, think I might just wide guard to go into a crunch here. I'm gonna send my wide guard right now. Gotta be gleaming at this point. Gotta be gleaming at this point. So we're gonna send our wide guard. I love him on top of wide guard just for this reason right here. And Tokish goes for an air slash. No shot. No shot it doesn't go for a Gleam there. No shot it doesn't go for a Gleam. Now my T-Tar's dead. Ice Cream's gonna KO me. Oh, we eat. We eat that. Oh, that's lovely. Punch gonna fly here. Oh, that's perfect. That just made my day. That just made my day. Takes out the Cresselia. Buffets are gonna take out the Togekiss. A problem here would be if he has a uh, Torkoal. Torkoal could definitely be a problem. But there's no shot that that Togekiss just went into that... uh. Went to that air slash over the dazzling gleam. I would have never made that move in a thousand years. You must have just thought maybe just there was a slight chance that I had a wide guard ready to go. But from here, I have Skarmory and I have Rotom. We just gotta hope no Torkoal's on the field. And there's Torkoal. That's gonna be GG's pretty much, right? I do have Sturdy. I do indeed have Sturdy. And there's Scissor. Scissor might just protect you. I can definitely see Scissor protecting. Do I protect too? I think I have the matches protect and keep a uh to keep my sturdiness going, right? I have to keep my sturdiness going. Tough news. Tough news. I gotta go for a Thunderbolt into the Torkoal slot. I gotta hope that maybe the scissor protects here. He just goes for straight eruption. I need my sturdiness here. How much damage is this eruption going to do to my Rotom? Okay, we soaked pretty well. He's going to go for an X Scissor into my Rotom, right? Can you eat that? Do. Awesome. Do. Awesome. He's going to take some Life Orb damage. And how many turns is left in Trick Room? I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. Give me a Paralyze here. Give me a Para. No Para comes out. Uh, we got to go for a Drill Peck here. Drill Peck into an Overheat. Try to get rid of the Scissor. I mean, if Torkoal pops an eruption here, our Sturdy's gonna trigger, and then our uh, Berry's gonna pop here as well. Actually, our Sturdy might not even trigger. We did some, uh, we did some damage to the Torkoal. Let's see how he plays this one. Let's see how he plays this one, because this one's actually gonna, might be pretty close. Wait, yo, Skarmory's awesome, yo. He looks so sick. Goes for another eruption, that's fine by me. And it is gonna trigger Sturdy, and my Berry's gonna come out here. I think that this berry can make me uh, eat up whatever scissor has to offer. Oh, we both have berries. We're both rocking berries. I totally forgot it. The guava berry and the mago berry. It should allow us to eat up an X scissor, right? He goes for it again. He goes for an X scissor into my Rotom. Yep, awesome. Let's go, berry. Huge berry. Huge berry. Now I just gotta land this overheat, which I have a weird feeling we're missing. Don't miss it. Don't do me dirty like that. Awesome. Awesome. Get this thing out of here. Um, I could double protect. How many turns is left in, uh... How many turns is left in, what's it called? In Trick Room! This is scaring me. This is definitely scaring me. Joe Peck coming in hot. Get off some nice damage. I'm trying to think of how many turns left in Trick Room. He erupted twice. Cresselia popped the Trick Room. So I think that brings it to four. I think this is his last turn, right? Because if you pop the Trick Room, it brings it to four. I remember Cresselia going for an Ice Beam, right? Press went for an Ice Beam. Did he use two Ice Beams? It might have used two. Did I have Latios in this battle? I did not. Why do I remember a Latios getting hit by an Ice Beam? No, he used one Ice Beam. So, Torkoal, two Eruption turns. An Ice Beam turn. And then this one, right? I think we got Double Protect. If this is last turn in Trick Room, I wish I could check. I wish I could check. If this is last turn in Trick Room, we just outplayed our opponent. But again, I'm, I'm losing count here. So I'm going to hope it is. I, again, I have no idea the count, and I wish it showed in this. 
but it's not. He's gonna go for Heat Wave. Yeah, Heat Wave's definitely taking us both out here. Well, show me Trick Room's gone. Show me that is the end of the rooms. The full of tricks. The count was right. The Jeans count was right. So now I can just go into a Drill Pack, which actually is 100, which is beautiful. And then I can roll into a Thunderbolt. And both of these combined should be able to do enough damage to take out the Torque. Because I know Rotom Heat's, uh... I know Rotom Heat's, uh... What's it called? Special attack is down. But Thunderbolt for the KO win? Let's go, yo. Outplaying our opponent at the end. Skarmory's sturdy ability coming in clutch. And the Berry's also clutching up for us as well. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Decided to rematch our opponent because you guys know battles are so hard to find in BDSP. But... Great set of battles so far. We're 2-0, dominating with this Skarmory squad, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much, but how should we go into this next battle, and how should we play it? Do we think he's going to pop a Trick Room again? I feel like Hariyama could definitely come out here, and he could try to set up a Trick Room. But Hariyama's going to be tough in Trick Room. That would be tough. So I feel like maybe like Latios could be our play alongside with Hariyama. That could definitely be our play. Because Latios can do some big damage on the Hariyama, which I really like. Then him on top could be good for the fake outs. Um, do we even bring him on top? I feel like we have to if he's going to lead Hariyama. And I feel like Hariyama this time is going to be his lead all around. So I'm going to go in with them too. I actually feel like the Trick Room's tough and we know he's popping it. We know the Trick Room's coming in hot. Um, could go Gyarados here. He didn't bring Swim Gash down last time. I'm kind of liking bringing Gyarados here. And then final Pokemon could be Titar. Titar's good. Titar's the main. And I really like Titar. He gets a lot of value out of here. I am going to go Titar. This one's this one's going to be tough. I feel like last time we just outplayed our opponent at the end there to get us to win. But if he leads Hariyama, I feel like it's just, just GG. Like, he has a really big upper hand. Yeah, and there it is. He switches his routes. Uh, we go this way. Um, I think we fake out the Hariyama and we take it out. But I'd rather him set up the Trick Room, to be honest. I'd rather him set up the Trick Room than have this Hariyama in Trick Room. Because Hariyama in Trick Room is just ungodly good. It's just ungodly strong. So I'm going to fake it out. I'm going to hit it with the Psychic, see if we can KO it. And just allow the Trick Room to set up. And maybe the Crest even protects too. But Cresselia is incredible at setting up Trick Room. It's such a pain. It's probably the best Pokemon in the... Well, one of the, one of the best Pokemon in this game. It is the best Pokemon in this game for setting up Trick Room. But like all around wise, it's top tier. It is top tier. It's so bulky. It can hit pretty hard. It can set up. It can do a lot. But he's just going to stay in with the Crest. We're going to hit this thing with a fake out. So they fine. He was going to go for a fake out as well. And we drop a second. Can we KO here? We do KO. So like I said, I'd rather him set up the Trick Room than for that Hariyama to be in the Trick Room. You guys, you guys, you guys get what I'm saying? The Trick Room's out and about here. I feel like if he goes into Torkoal, we have Y-Guard ready to go. And then we kind of just uh, get after it with Latios. I'm going to Scissor. Okay, so Scissor's going to poke out here. I don't really mind Scissor. You don't mind Scissor. Uh, hmm. Scissor's tough, though. Scissor's a pain. Huh. Got hard swap in the Gyarados. Just a minus that thing's attack. I think I'm going to swap to him on top. To the Gyarados slot. And then just start slowly, I guess, like, chipping up. It's Crest. I mean, we're not going to do too much damage to it. But yeah, my best bet is to just start intimidating that. Uh, that Skizzy right there. And then I'll have my hit my top for Intimidate later. Yo, BDSP battles have been awesome lately. Like, they're really good battles with my opponents. Like, my opponents are really good. So if you guys are, are one of my opponents and you guys watch my videos, shout out to you guys. You guys play some good Pokemon. But x is going to fly. Probably, ooh, I thought it was going to be into uh, Gary Slap. Yeah, I thought I thought maybe thought I was going to protect with that thing on the field, but it'd be like that. It'd be like that. We get off the Intimidate. This thing shows he's orbed, and from here, he's going to go for a more Psychic. And I could go into... Don't you dare drop my Special Defense. Thank you. I could go into T-Tar here. I could definitely go into T-Tar, but I feel like we have to start getting after the Scissor, right? I feel like we definitely have to start getting after the Scissor. I feel like Scissor might even protect here. So I might just pick out the crest, set up a dragon dance to try to get attack boost from on here. The teammate's gonna fly. All bad. I'm not really too worried about the scissor hitting me. Minus two. Even though it is orb and the orb really does help it out. I just feel like we pick out the crest and we set up a dragon dance. Pick out the crest, get D dance, because I'm gonna need attack boost going in here. We're already slower, so speed don't really matter here. And what's all skizzy here? He going into Torky. 
Gastro. Okay, good thing we did not go into an attack of me. He forces Gastro out here. I get off a fake out, fake out in that slot. And, dude, Scissor's, Scissor's gonna be a pain, man. Scissor is going to be a pain. I might swap him on top again. Intimidate later could be nice. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Bump, 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 bump. Good close combat. Go straight after Gastro. I say we just start going after Gastro. Gastro's got to go. Gastro has got to go. I knew this battle would be tough with the Hariyama on the field. He goes for an Ice Beam here. And don't freeze me. Leave me alone. Press gonna go for Psychic. You eat that up too. Beautiful. Beautiful. And hit my top strap in a close combat. Beautiful damage. Can this Ice Fang KO? I'm curious. This Ice Fang has a shot of KO. -ing. And of course, he has a berry. <laughs> of course, he has a berry. Let's see how much damage this Ice Fang would have done. Would have picked up the KO again with plus one. Ice Fang's gonna fly here. That might have been able to pick up the KO. That's kind of close. We're gonna swap to him on top. And I'm just going to protect you. And we're, we're, we're trying to make a way out of this one. <laughs> this one's so tough. This one's so tough, but at least you grabbed ourselves a, uh, a winning record so far. But I'm bringing the T-Tar here. And I'm trying to figure out a way around this. Let's see what he does. We shall see. I think Psychic might be going into the T-Tar slot. Ice Beam. Show me the Psychic into the T-Tar slot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So not bad. Not bad. A solid read from us. We get off some free swaps. We're wasting out some turns. Trick Room should have maybe like one turn left. Do I just save it? Oh, no. Trick Room's over. Could go for Crunch. Could go for Dragon Ants. Uh, I say we go here and we go Ice Fang. That's my play. That's my play. Even though, because we can't take out the Crest without Waterfall at this point. Ice Fang and, and uh, Punch, I don't think, takes out. So we might as well get rid of this Gashon, right? Oh! Oh, that's ugly! That is so ugly! Wow, we could have Ice Fang the extra KO there. That's ugly, though. This dude's getting free sashes. It's no good. That's no good. Now he's good to Scald. We're able to eat that. Do not burn me. Please don't burn me. Please don't burn me. Thank you. And Trick Room is back out and about. I don't like this game one bit. Yeah, yeah. Not one bit. But it's gonna fly. Um. Any way around this? Hmm. We have Scalds going over to the T-Tar slot. I'm gonna protect the T-Tar. I am going to swap Gary. Into hit my top just so we can have fake out already to roll. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. yes, this has got to be a play. This is such a tough battle. If we win this battle, just give me the world champion trophy. That because it would mean I'm the best player in the world. We somehow win this battle. Well, we could have doubled down the crest. I thought Ice Fang would KO and that could be big for me, but no. This guy's just like here. I take free focus ashes wherever I go. Vitar's gonna protect here. Scald's gotta be poking. Yep. And is this thing going for a psychic into the slot? That is tough news. Can we eat that, please? Oh, yeah, you eat that all day. You don't even trigger your citrus berry. That's how much you eat up. Actually, buffs are gonna trigger the citrus berry. Crest is gonna take some damage. Um. Who do I take out here? Is the real question. Who does the top take out here? He might even double protect. He might just double protect here. I gotta go for a slide full of rocks. But if I fake out the crest buff, it should be able to take it out. If I fake out the gastro, I feel like we fake out the uh, the gastro here. I feel like we fake out the gastro. He might even double protect here. Because I feel like crest doesn't have the attack power right now to take out my Pokemon. And if I could force a scissor out here. I can hard swap into Gyarados, get off and intimidate, and then have him on top come back out for another intimidate. I think out. This is a good battle. This is a great battle. Great battle out here. Great, lovely battle out here. I know Buffets end soon. They actually might end next turn, so. Picking out the Gastro is the play. So, yeah, we take out the Gastro. I probably should have went for a, uh, a Crunch here. Knowing that I'm picking out the Gastro, because now I have a chance of missing. Psychic's gonna come in here. We eat this up all day. Like that. 
And can we land this? Mm, I said that. Yo, I said I was going to miss it, and that's exactly what happens. I don't like this game. Not one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. And I do not know how many turns are left in Trick Room. I do not know. I have no idea. All right, we got <laughs> Protect Tito here. And I got swap into Gary. Dude, man, if that rock side lands, we're sitting in such a good spot. If that rock side just landed, it could have been huge. It could have been huge. It could have been enormous. But we know a scissor's going into T Tar probably with a bullet punch, right? And Crest is probably going into my Gyarados slot with a with a psychic. So we're using Gyarados just as just as an intimidate here, right? Yeah, there's the B punch. Crest is going for a second. So yeah. So we just used Gyarados just for Intimidate. That's fine. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, is Trick Room almost gone? We need it gone. We need Trick Room gone. Daddy. I think it has one more turn. At this point. What do we do? <laughs> we fake out the crest here? We could fake out the crest. Huh. I think I should be able to kill the crest. Right? I don't know. Crest is pretty bulky. I'm gonna go for a crunch this time. I'm gonna say I'm gonna ha I'm gonna need fake out the extra KO of the crest. I'm gonna need fake out the extra KO of the crest. He protects the scissor. Should drop the rock side. If this fake out doesn't KO, I'm gonna be very upset. I like double protect. Smart, smart little quick play. I was just thinking of D dance here, but but wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Saying there's a chance because I can protect T Tar out here and Trick Room should end. Yeah, so there's goes Trick Room. Um, we can go Rock Slide here. Do we help hand the Rock Slide or do we just close combat? I think we just have to go after a Scissor. We're gonna hope that this Bullet Punch is okay. Oh, it's minus two. I get it's super effective. It has Technician Boost, it has Stab Boost. He's probably Orb. He is Orb. This might KO me now. I'm thinking about the Stack Boost on it. Stab, super effective. Technician, Life Orb. I think I'm dead. Oh no, you take on me. Ooh. Spicy little play here. Spicy little play. Spicy little play. Take out my hit on top. How dare you? Rockside's gonna fly here. Yo, another Rockside KOs. We just had to eat this up. Oh my god. We brought this battle this close. I think I'm dead. I can I don't think I can survive that. A B punch. I don't think I can survive a bull punch. But if that first rock side landed. I think we would have won this match. I don't think we're surviving this next one. Is this KOs? This KOs. We just need to survive. He's minus two, but again, all those stacks, I think we're dead here. Right? Bull punch coming in hot. Dead. Yeah, no, no shot. Even even before that, I think we were dead to it. But GG to our opponent. Takes out our hit on top, plays it smart. And that's gonna be game over. Two and one for today's video. Grabbed ourselves a winning record and came this close to making the best comeback ever in battle number three. But we made a solid comeback in battle number two. But battle number three, we were right there. We were right there. Missed a rock slide. And I think we would have won if we did not miss that rock slide. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.